Greetings everyone, my name is Adderville, and welcome back to my let's play of Super Cable Boy. We've reached the end game, it's time to debug the core. No new abilities left to be discovered. Oh. I understand. The level slowly builds upon itself. Even the level names have gone glitched. Nice reference to the first world. At least, I think this is referencing the first world. Oh, it was there, Jaden. Okay, I'll get it in post. Oh, if I go in here, it'll force me to be green. I'm not going to. It's a trap, I need them. I still keep them, it just forces me to change. I thought it always locks me out once I go into one, but it's only temporary. I suppose this is the final world's main mechanic using all the abilities required throughout the game. Anyone here? Am I alive? Hmm... There it is. face. I'll probably acquire the ability to collect black on agrees once I clear this world. Not to mention there are all those secret worlds. If this was made by a typical Mega Man Maker level designer, I could really easily cheese the stage. Okay. <laughs> 
I've been doing moves like this throughout the game, so this isn't too tough. But for players who aren't used to swapping like this, this level can be a bit of a pain. Same here, Jaden. My eyes are a bit strained, too. That's why I wish there was an option to disable how bright it was. It may be referencing the Virtual Boy, but one of the main complaints of the Virtual Boy was that color scheme. Oh, thanks for saving me. Everything isn't fine. Oh, and... Onaguri. It's never that easy. And here I thought the bottom would also be blocked off. There we go. Don't agree was the easy part. Getting to the end was the hard one. Beginning dub of the meaning of life and everything. There's a pyramid. Any more Easter eggs game? Oh, 
I'll go for don't agree later. I know exactly where it is, and I know exactly what I need to do. Nice pun there. Oh goody, another one of these cable car challenges. You gotta be kidding me. I have to swing my way through the corruption there, and then reach that side. I'll praise the game for a lot of things, but I feel there should be more tutorials for cable swinging. Oh, I get an achievement for pausing for that long. Okay. You see the problem. I have to do it again through there. Oh my goodness, this was extremely lucky. There's another one too. I'm gonna have to get it off screen together then. An interesting observation. Of all the colored onagri this game has, I haven't seen that many pink ones, aka the color dimension changing ones. Only really green, blue, and red. So once I climb up here, I need to swap to blue and do the jump from that side. Yeah, I'm doing this off screen. Not the worst power up, but the most difficult to get a handle on. Oh, that's why. I thought that was solid. The arrows don't agree. You know what, I'll give it one go, one or two goes, and then I'll go back. Well, but I screwed that up already. So yeah, I'll get back to this later. These are far from the toughest one agrees that I'll have to acquire. The hardest is yet to come.
I get what I was missing there, it's not the dash, it's actually a jump. Almost got it. I'll be saving that for off screen. Getting the Onigiri isn't the problem. It's that section now. I sure hope the next stage is a breeder level. And don't you worry, this will be added down in post a lot. Instead of it being a half an hour ordeal, it's going to be about 2-3 to three minutes at most. Once again, good level design to use the background as a hint of what you're supposed to do. Haha, uh -huh, you won't get me there. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see what's going on. In order to survive in this game, make sure to look ahead. Look at all those bugs. Should have known. Yours don't agree? Bemo. I'll get back here in the future, I'm missing something. Reference to Adventure Time, Pixel Boy. Oh boy. gonna have to do is a swap. There we go. Again, the toughest part of the stage isn't really any of this, it's that one swing there.
the hard part. There we go. I went too far there. Let's do it the normal way. It looks like we're traveling through a tower. Stop watching shadows? Can I choose neither option? Doesn't look like anything's here. On to Colonel Panic, Part 2. What's going on? The glitch is thrown. Well, he kept trying to kill me several times. Good point. Sonny's become really meta. Not quite. I'll have to start it up again to get all the remaining on degree. It isn't? Wow. Final boss time. The glitch wants to fight. He has the same ability set as I do. He can swap between four different power-ups. Every boss so far has utilized one of each of the four power-ups. So it only makes sense that the final boss forces me to use all the power-ups. When I'm the right color, I have to charge these up. As a reminder, once it changes color, I'm going to be forced to stay on the certain power-up. Let's patch the security again. Was it fast enough? Go 
quarantine the corrupted files. One more. He has lasers now too. You're done. What an excellent way to finish the game. Uh... Let's dive right in. Two options. Join the glitch, or destroy the glitch. What should we do first? Two say join, two say destroy. Someone break the tie, please. Destroying it. Don't worry, I'll pick the other option. Now they do something, because there is technically more to this game. So this marks the end of the main game of Super Cable Boy, but the game isn't done for me just yet. It's been hinted that there is a third secret ending of the game. And to be fair, Pixel Boy, how do we know the glitch wasn't lying? After all, all this time, it tried killing us. Nonetheless, Sorb, you did a phenomenal job developing this game. It fits the definition of hidden gem to me. At first, I was worried this was going to be another one of the male platformers. But no, this turned out to be something special.
Back to the start menu. Now let's get the other ending. This time we're joining the glitch. It turned out exactly how I thought it would. So this was the bad ending. Whoa, look at the title screen. In the next episode, I'll collect the remaining Onigiri and venture into the hidden worlds. Well then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.